If your lever lower cordless window blinds are sitting all bunched up on the window sill like this, it means they're just too long as I'm showing right here. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple way to shorten these up to the proper length. This is Rudy from the Home Improvement Channel with another video showing you how to fix various things around the house. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to my channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and also like this video if it was helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is stretch this window blind out all the way. It'll show me the length of the blind. And then what I want to do is I want to leave about two uh, slats, you know, below the windowsill. Um, what'll happen is, is if you make this too short, when you close the blinds like this, this bottom piece won't really want to hang straight. It'll want to tilt like that because the ropes are going to pull it up. So that means we have to remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I recounted these and there's actually eight of them. Um, so to get these out, it's real easy. You kind of just spin them like that so these little notches right here don't get hung up on the uh, strings. And just keep on pulling them out. We're going to remove eight of them, obviously starting from the bottom. They can be a little stubborn to come out of there, but I find that spinning them really does help. Okay, you might notice here, this is a pretty wide blind, so I have five of these uh, pull points right here. But if, if you notice, this smaller string is taut. Uh, this is the lift string. Uh, you don't want to cut that string or you'll ruin your blinds, and the fix for that is to uh, go crazy trying to fix it or go get another set of blinds. Uh, this string you can cut. It's got these ladders on here, okay? And uh, once you cut this, I'll show you what to do with it. But to get it to about the proper length to tie it back uh, to the bottom piece down here, um, I usually want to leave about three of these ladders left over, right? One, two, three. All right, and then cut it right there. All right, so this bottom string can just be removed. Cut these loops out of here and be careful when you do this not to uh, cut your lift cord. So those are freely hanging on the bottom. Don't worry about those. Now up here, uh, you do want to leave this length of this rope long enough right here, just like it is, but you want to cut away all these ladders out of here and also uh, cut them kind of close without cutting the cord. You know, just cut them close and just leave two strings hanging down is what we're trying to do. I'm going to do the same thing to this uh, rear cord right here. I did want to point something out right here. Um, this is a wider shade, so like I said earlier, I have five of these pull strings. Now, in the middle, we only just have our ladder cord. Okay, so you can cut this one uh, and don't worry about it because there's no lift cord here in the middle. Do the same thing you did on the first one. One, two, three, and then cut it here. So you're going to want to remove this end cap right here because this um, piece in the middle right here needs to slide out. Okay, so just gently kind of pry that off of there like so. And then slide this middle piece out all the way and set it aside. Okay, so these buttons right here, they go through to the bottom right here and we need to pull those out to get the string the old string out of there okay we need to do that on all of them now you can pry these off with a screwdriver but what will happen is you'll wind up scratching that to pieces and if you don't want to do that the easiest thing I have found to do is take your thumb and push on one side of the button like so and grab these two strings and pull at the same time and that button will come out of there so what we're going to want to do here is bring these strings that we cut earlier through the buttonhole 
and I have found the easiest way to do it is if you have a pair of pliers like this one that has these uh, kind of long duck beaks on them, grab them just like so. Kind of get that button out of the way and hold it and then take the pliers and push the wire See, I'm, pushed, I'm just pushing the string through, come out the other sides like so, and now you can grab the string, and it's so much easier than trying to feed those through manually. All right, so pull it up about where you want it, and then just put the button back. All right. All right, so once again, we're going to use our thumb, push that out of there, pull that button back, let the strings fall out, and then take your other ones, put them like that, grab them with your pliers. I've done this the other way with just trying to feed these uh, strings up through that uh, hole there, and it's much more difficult. It doesn't go through very well. So I have found these pliers work amazing. And just push that through, grab the string from the other side, like that, and then push the button back. All right, that's two. I'm going to do the other three, and then we'll come back when it's done. All right, once you get all your strings back in, just take the excess and put it in this, there's a cavity right here. And just put your cap back on the end. Looks like it works like a champ. Okay, thanks for watching.